So you're probably wondering uh, how we ended up here in a cornfield, next to a cornfield. Well, it's kind of self-explanatory. We ran out of gas. But to take you back to how we got here, let's go see how this happened. All right, so to get you guys up to date of where we last left off in the last video. And if you guys have not, so, so we actually go more in depth in this in the other videos. If you want to go check them out, they're really interesting. But just a really quick recap. Bought the cheapest Honda Bruno on the planet for $10,500. Bought it from a Honda dealership in Maryland. They told us they can get us the title. Within a week, we sold the bike to another dealership in Chicago. They had the bike for a couple months before they got really annoyed because we couldn't get them the title. So I actually refunded their money back until we could get the title. While this is all happening, Honda is having a lot of issues with getting the title. The original owner does not have it. They're trying to track down the Honda dealership that sold it to them. That ends up being a local Honda dealership to us. Nothing's coming through. We're not able to get this thing. They come back to me and they're like, can we do a bonded title? And I'm like, I, I, I didn't tell them it was sold with a bonded title. I don't want to do a bonded title. And if you, if you don't know what a bonded title is, there's some states like Georgia and Florida that you can, a bonded title is like a, a faster process of a court order title, but for a, for a limit, for a certain amount of time, there's a bond on it. So, cause someone else could actually claim and prove records saying that they own that bike. It can get you legal and get you registered, but it, there is still some strings attached to it. I didn't like that idea. The dealership in Chicago was getting pretty fed up. They've had this bike for a couple months. They said, you have to ship the bike back. We want to re we want to dissolve this deal. So I paid to ship the bike up. I paid to ship the bike back. I refunded them all their money, and that's kind of where we get left off. So I call. I talked to Honda, and they said, "Well, we want to dissolve this deal too." At this point, I already have money in this bike. I already have money in this bike. If I if, if I end up not with the bike, I lose all the money on shipping and the eBay fees and shipping it back. And then the Honda dealership loses money on all the money that they have into it. So I have a proposal. I tell them, find out how much money you actually have in this bike. Get yourself at a break-even point where you're not losing any money, but you're not gaining, it, gaining any money, and I'll buy the bike with no title. Now, why would I want a bike with no title? Even if it's rare, you know, it doesn't matter what number it is. If you have no title, you really can't sell it. The only value it really, it would really have would be just, you know, looking cool as a big, uh, big coffee table, or if you want to part it, part it out. Now I'm not, in, I'm not in the business of parting things out, so I don't really want to do that. My idea is that because they were from Maryland, and it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. The Maryland people talking with Pennsylvania Department of Transportation was not working out very well. We needed to work with someone who works with PennDOT on a regular basis, knows the people, knows the strings to pull. The title exists, it's somewhere. PennDOT had the title at some point in time. We have proved that. They should be able to provide us a duplicate title if you know the right people. So at this point, I'm taking a fairly large gamble to see if the people we know are actually able to work with PennDOT to get us this title. We go back and forth. A bunch of times, they're, we're, we're getting them paperwork, they're asking more questions, we're doing, we're doing whatever we gotta do. Things are, at this point, things are looking pretty good. And you know, the normal takes a couple days, not very long. We call them up, hey, no title. We call them up a couple weeks later, no title. They call us about a month later. Whoa. Check it. 2004 Honda. I almost said Yamaha. <laughs> Honda Road Title. They said it couldn't be done. I feel like the guy who first walked on the moon, Lance Armstrong. It can be done. It was Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I'm like the first guy that walked on the moon. They said it couldn't be done. I got it done, baby. Title. We are the proud owners of number 39. Of all the runes ever made, we got ourselves a title. So now we actually own the bike clean and clear and are able to sell the bike. The plan is I would like to restore the bike. I think this may be the first and possibly only Honda rune that's ever been restored. I would take this thing apart, 
pull all the chrome off of it and have all of it redipped. And then there are some scratches on the rear fender that I would, you know, get painted. Make this thing perfect with less than 300 miles on it and then see what we want to do uh, with it from there. So while this is all happening, I see this guy at the auction the other week. Out of two bikes, I hope I don't lose this title. Out of two bikes, out of 800 bikes, there was at the auction, there's two bikes that I told myself, I don't care what they do, I wanna buy that bike. This was one of them. And this is actually number 47. There's eight units in between these two. This is that guy's younger brother by like a handful of bikes. And this is only, they only made like 1,800 of these bikes. The, the Ruin itself is a fairly rare bike. I see this guy sitting at the auction and I had to have it. So we will be selling this one. I'm very excited about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful 2004 Honda Rune. So as of now, we have owned three, three Honda Runes. This one has somewhere around 6,000 miles on it. It is a beautiful bike. And I'm gonna go take it for a test drive right now. So if you guys wanna see the test drive video, go check out the uh, SRK Cycles channel and see how the Honda, the legendary Honda Valkyrie Rune actually rides I, I it's, it's it rides like nothing else it really is they're amazing machines all right guys don't forget to subscribe so what we got going on is guy every once in a while guy i'll see a bike at a um at a car auction he'll give me a call this one's actually at Mannheim Auto Auction. Uh, the world's largest auto auction. It's huge, ginormous. So, he saw a bike, and probably like 20,000 cars they sell every every month, every week. There's one motorcycle. So, we're gonna go pick that up, bring that back to the shop, and then we have another bike that we bought from a car dealership. I, I forget what it is actually. We're gonna go pick that one up also, bring it back to the shop. The good news is, wait, hold on. How are we gonna do that? How are we gonna bring two bikes back in this van? We're not. So if you're wondering why we're not using the trailer, currently the trailer is out of commission because the wheel fell off from what happened in our last video. Pick one up, bring it back to the shop. Pick one up, oh, bring then it back we're to the shop. Oh, gotcha, 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 okay. Cool. And then we're gonna get a new camera while we're uh, near Costco, and then, we're gonna get some uh, frozen chocolate mocha. Ooh. Mocha slush. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. Wait, from where? Costco, man. They have those there? Dude, are you, do you even go to Costco? Dude, are don't... you, do you, have, do you, do you even have a membership card? Don't have a membership card. Are you gonna wait outside? <laughs> oh crap. I'm not gonna let you in. Even though like I can let you in with my card, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so the van's spitting and sputtering and I'm like, what's going on? And uh, because you don't want to to run a diesel that low. Oh, for real? Because you can't just start it up. You gotta like prime the whole system. So we're out of gas. Like that. Yeah. And it's like a hundred degrees out. Yeah. So now, wait, don't you have a tank in the back? I do. Is it full? No. Does it have any in it? It's got a little bit. One Yo, it's really hot. <laughs> can, you, can you at least turn it on so I can roll my window down? I was trying to keep the windows up to reduce coefficient of drag so we would coast farther, closer to a gas station. Take this turn with no, no power steering and no. Ah. Yeah. If we get out and start pushing, we might be able to make it the whole way back. Just keep that momentum, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you want to check and see how much gas we have left? Because we're not going to make it up this hill. If we make it up that hill though, and then we coast the whole way down. <sighs> All right, it's so like, dude, well, here's the problem. I do have a little bit of fuel in there. Let's try it. Let's see how much we got. I can't believe we just ran out. I thought I was doing that injector thing again. Yo, that's, a gallon. that's that's enough. We just, a, gallon. a gallon? A gallon, this is what, 18 miles? Yo, that's hilarious we ran out of gas. So hilarious. So hilarious. 
I mean, one gallon should get us to a sta like to a gas station, right? Or a diesel station. I don't think the gas station near us has diesel. Are you serious? Not the sheets over by Mannheim? The sheets by Mannheim does, yeah. Do you think we can make it there? Oh, that sheets over there. Yeah. Yeah, that should be able to make it there. See, here, like, here's the problem. If it's not enough, us cranking it over, uh, it's gonna make it almost like we won't be able to start without tools and stuff like that. Oh, seriously? Yeah, so we might just, let's give Gail book on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Normally, this would be where I would be calling my brother and tell him that my my car broke down and then say, oh yeah, grab a grab some diesel fuel and bring it with you. But since I have some people working for me, I'll just call them. I forgot these hey, what's up? Yo, we ran out of gas. <laughs> okay. Um, if we send you a pin of where we are, can you send Josh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, crap. That thing ain't gonna make it through. Holy cow, you filming it? Yeah, hold up. There's a massive tractor coming down. I don't think it's gonna make it, dude. Yo, film that. So the crop duster is coming down the road and it's 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 in the middle lane hogging up the whole thing. They're like 30 feet wide. I didn't know if it was gonna actually make it. I've always wanted to ride my motorcycle underneath the crop duster. Maybe one of these days I'll get that like arranged. Alright, see it. Hey! Well, it's about time. Who is that guy in the red shirt? Does he work for me? Yeah, it's Josh. What does he do? I, I have no idea. What up? Do anything for diesel. Ooh, it's nice in here. Oh, it's that beautiful. AC. Oh, that nice, that, that AC. bumping AC. Sean, come with us? No. Oh, oh we got the water! Thanks. Yes, sir. We're back. We're back. Diesel. We got the diesel. That used to be my nickname. Yeah, I'm going to tell him we accidentally got gas. Oh, um, okay. Yo, regular, right? 87? Yeah. The diesel! Oh, crap. I think I accidentally got gas. You want it regular, right? I'm dead serious, yo. I'm dead serious. We gotta go back. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I checked like 20 times to make sure I didn't get, I didn't get gas by accident. Where's that water at? Oh, it's in here. Big diesel guy. Big diesel guy. That was actually my nickname in high school. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Diesel. Van Diesel. Van instead diesel. of Vin Diesel. Yeah. Did you just come up with a name for the van? Van Diesel. Van Diesel. Yo, Van Diesel's a killer name. You know what I named the trailer? What? Trailer Swift. Ooh, Van Diesel and Trailer Swift. That's rope. That's real rope. So I came up with the idea of calling my trailer Trailer Swift a long time ago. I'm glad we finally get to use that. I'm, it's, it's an idea I'm pretty proud of. Y'all ready for this? Why did we walk around? Why did we walk all the way around? Ooh. We're about to get real safe. I'm glad we're putting this in now. When Josh is almost done filling it up. No, nah, he's got he's not even close. You gotta turn it upside down. Oh. Oh, we got the cones too. The cones, bro. Alright, so this should fire up if I turned it off in time. As in time. Yeah. If you let it go and let this thing drain, you gotta like prime the whole system and it's a big pain. You can take the whole dog dog box off and now I might have to crank it over a little bit. Okay. That's that's the thing. That's small. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Heck yeah. Thanks Josh! Thanks for saving us! This was a win. I get to go home, 
feeling like I accomplished something, we got something done. <laughs> Hold on, we were actually going somewhere. We were gonna pick up motorcycles, and then we gotta we have to go pick up the, we have to go pick up the bikes, and we actually once we get the bikes, then I can go home feeling like I accomplished something. Let's go grab those bikes. We've never we haven't even seen the motorcycle yet, right? No. We just know what it is, but we haven't seen it at all. I know a motorcycle. There's a couple. There's a Ferrari. Oh, we came here for the Ferrari, right? Yeah, which Ferrari? Uh, it's right there. That's it right there, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, so you want me to just take this? Dude, that thing's clean. Yeah, it bought me a Harley Davidson. Wow. So, uh, to wrap up the day, these are the two bikes we got, 2014 Harley Davidson Road King and a 2013 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail. Like normally what happens is in business. You got plans, it just, this is, or just life. You got plans, things don't turn out the way you actually planned. What you gotta do is you gotta keep your chin up, you gotta regroup, you gotta replan, keep on going with it, figure it out, keep on moving, don't, don't fret, don't get, don't get worried, don't get bummed out. When all's said and done, God is good, God's got a plan for you. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys later. We got a lot of work to do here.